And how's everybody doing tonight? Tuesday night. We are uh, on day 396 of the journey here towards the CCI routing and switching exam. And uh, it's going well. Busy day. A lot happening. I am still working on, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, QS shaping and policing. Not a lot to do tonight on stream. Uh, we're going to be reading the books, hitting the books. So just a couple things to talk about, I guess. One is uh, I got behind on flashcards. So uh, this weekend I worked a lot on labbing the foundation lab in the INA workbook. And I didn't really look at my cards. And it doesn't take long. I, I think it's like 22 cards a day that it will do a review of. So I spent some time this morning and at lunch uh, just trying to get through, get caught up. Um, you don't want to have to do too many cards a day. Uh, there are 32 due. So I, I've taken a chunk out of it. Earlier today, there were uh, a lot more. So anyway, uh, may work on this too as well uh, tonight and try to get this uh, down. So I've got the chap stuff in there from this weekend. I now know the commands. I've almost got it pretty well memorized on what the commands are for both the um, client and the server. Because I did really bad on that on the lab. So uh, hopefully we'll be much better whenever we encounter that again. So anyway, that's, that's uh, on the cards. I don't know how many I've got now. There, there are a ton. Uh, the other thing is, uh, yeah, reading. So I'm on the... I've dug into the QS shaping and policing. I thought I might be able to do a shaping lab, but the way this book is approaching shaping and policing, it's in the same chapter, but it's linking a lot of the information because they really are often deployed together, uh, you know, and they really do a lot of the same concepts and principles go with both. So probably won't be ready to let also... Um, yeah, should be able to stream tomorrow. I do have a change window work in the evening, so to be brief as well. But maybe Thursday we'll, we'll be ready to finally hit some labs on the shaping and policing. But that's okay. You know, basically I had a, allocated all of March for QoS. So we got plenty of time. We want to take our time. And I think getting through this chapter is going to be a big help for me. There's going to be some math. So I'll be creating a lot more flashcards. Um, I've already hit some of those, uh, that material in the book. So yeah, I'll be reading the Cisco uh, QS exam guide. And also I have just one meat chunk today. Um, I, you know, I've been on Twitter. It hasn't been a lot of stuff. Um, but this is a video actually link, so I'm not going <laughs> to... That's from the Azure. This is an Azure thing. So I found, I didn't realize this was here. I knew that you can do, so you can do in uh, the shell, you have this command window here, right? Where you can run all sorts of commands, depending on which extensions you have for VS Visual Studio Code. But I did not realize that you can do just an Azure shell. Um, let's see, have I installed the plugin here? I may not have installed it yet on this box. Uh, shell. Uh, Azure account is installed. There are a lot of different shell launchers. Um, let's see, Azure CLI tools. This is installed already. Uh, let's see. P shell. Yeah, I don't have all the extensions I need on here. There are a lot of, you would imagine, I mean, this is Microsoft. Uh, it's an open source tool. Um, Azure Tools for Visual, Visual Studio Code. Let's install that. They've made it also in Azure REST for Ansible. Logic Apps. Probably need that. Um, Azure Automation, I have that. IoT tools, I've not played too much with yet. I really do. Oh, Application Insights, it's a good one. Uh, Event Grid. I, I work with uh, 
have been working with all these components. And yeah, someone commented about this on the stream. I do plan to, or in Discord, I would like to one day do more with um, streaming about Azure and about cloud and DevOps, Ansible, things like that. I would like to do that. I really enjoy it. I really do. But um, right now we're on CCIE, so... Anyway, basically what you can do is you can set it up so that, you know, you have a lot of terminals that you can use here. This by default I have set to bash, but you can customize this and add, um, so yeah, here's the bash shell. And I've talked about this before, but what you can do is if you create a session, like I, cre I can create a live share session that creates a URL and send that to you and then you can join and we can actually work together out of multiple uh, terminals. And we can do split screen and things like that. And we could sort of, you know, shell or SSH to something, a device, and we can work together out of the same Visual Studio Code instance, which is really cool, really powerful feature. I don't know a lot of the other, you know, editors that uh, have that just built in and work seamlessly. Um, yeah, there's a PowerShell Command Explorer. That's not, I got a Docker here. And then all these Azure services uh, show up as a single. They're still installing, but yeah, great link there. If you do use Visual Studio Code and you use the Azure Shell, which, by the way, all you can, uh, the other thing you can do is just type uh, shell.azure.com. And you choose your account. Log in. There are other ways to authenticate. And you can enable multi factor authentication as well. Uh, that's also an option. Uh, that's interesting. I hadn't had that happen in Safari before. I may already be logged in. Maybe why it's... Let's do shell.azure.com over here. Yeah, I'm already logged in in Chrome, so... That's the thing, is you can tell your browser to... When you connect to Azure Portal, you can say, keep me logged in. And I just tried to open the shell with a different, but yeah. So, cool stuff. Now you can do that right from uh, inside of VS Code. Uh, that's really all I have today, folks. Um, again, it's Tuesday. It's early in the week. Hope your week's going well. and hope you're able to get some things done. And uh, I'm trying something new. I don't know. I've got... I've realized others have commented that the, the ring up here is causing a lot of glare on the glasses. And I don't pay a lot of attention to my videos, to be honest. Um, you know, I live it, so I speak it, so I know the content. Uh, not a lot of reason for me to watch it, but I should do more like quality assurance QA. Um, and I checked and yeah, it does look kind of weird with the, the ring reflection, so. Not sure what I'm, what I'm going, to, going to do about that. I'm going to research it. Um, a lot of what I learned about streaming and uh, doing video production, Photoshop, I get off of YouTube like everybody else. So <laughs> I'm going to check that out and see what we can do and make that a little bit better. Uh, but thanks so much for stopping in tonight, folks. Again, uh, it's uh, uh, you know going to be hitting the books. I'll share any cool tips or tidbits I come up with, of course, in Discord or on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow me there. Uh, you can always follow me here, of course, on, um, in, uh, tw on Twitch and on YouTube. So thanks so much for stopping in, and we'll see you tomorrow night here on the Land Tamer stream. Have a good night.